What's up guys, today we have Ziad or Vivelma as some of you know and he's a Sanibaki SR20 swap Let's check it out Okay guys, so uh, this is the ad over here, the owner of the Chambaki. Um, tell us a bit about uh, the boat. Uh, okay, so it's a 1980 Datsun, mm -hmm. 1400. Uh, uh, SR20D from uh, S13 uh, Sylvia. Alright. Uh, SR20 gearbox. Um, it's got uh, basically a set of custom sleeve over slash coil over. Uh, mix and match of Ford Capri strut tops. Mm. Stunder struts, um, golf mark one inserts, uh, universal sleeve over springs, and um, kit. It's got a set of Martin Brewer, um, all four more ITBs. Okay. Um, it's got uh, basically a standard engine, just a committee gate gasket, uh, which is freshened up, and uh, a set of split 264, 272 uh, grand cams. I see, I see, yeah. And uh, tell us about like uh, your plans of the car, why did you build it, how well, did you own the car? I actually just built it for my own uh, enjoyment, I didn't build it to you know, specifically for purpose of racing. Okay. I'm not saying I won't race it, mm -hmm. I mean, need to race it, yeah. it's not for the point of... Where you want to yeah, do race. Yeah, where it's actually the point of being race, it's just basically just finish bolt or bolt you can say. Okay. Um, so this is the second test drive or drive with the Bucky. Okay, and how long did it take you to build the car? Uh, it took me about two years, almost three years to build the Bucky. It took quite a while. Um, Usually being I don't have a lot of time, you know, I to, it's an after hours project. Okay. So, okay. Whatever little time I have here and there, I just put into it. Okay. Resourcing parts is not easy. I see. So tell us about the suspension and the tough setup, what you got here at the back. Okay, in terms of rear suspension, it's a uh, standard 1400 diff. Uh, I just uh, freshened it up with fresh oil in basically, I didn't change anything on it. Okay. Um, I so have, open diff? It's an open diff for the moment, yes. Uh -huh. I have uh, standard, listen, 1400 uh, rear springs. Uh -huh. I flip the leaves and I fix all the 60 more lowering blocks. Um, I have poly bushes front and rear and I have a Caltrack system which is currently not um, functional yet. I haven't, I haven't completed that part but the bracketry and everything is there to uh, basically, uh, basically bolt on a, and I have a Caltrack system just for okay. the hops and so forth. And the exhaust set up here at the back. So the 63 mil one box uh, mild steel exhaust. Okay. It's a budget build. So uh, so, uh, and custom drive? It's a custom branch, I've bought it with the uh, engine and gearbox. I see. Cool. And then, uh, yeah, tell us a little bit uh, about uh, the interior. <laughs> uh, what inspired the interior, actually? Um, 
necessity to inspire the, <laughs> the, the interior. I see. So it was, it was whatever I could get, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, because originally they had a bench seat. Okay. And, uh, yeah. The Kelly was obviously doesn't clear the bench seats. I need two single seats. And two single seats in good condition for me. These buckets are, are very hard to find. So I just searched the internet and whatever I could find, I bought mismatch seats. But it works for me, you know. It's, Custom uh, rails, of course, I suppose. Or yeah, I had to make up brackets or myself brackets. with bits of whatever I could find. <laughs> uh, <laughs> playing around and buying off cuts and whatever. Because um, usually, you know, you have to buy in 60 meter length. I don't need 60 meter yeah, of course, seat brackets. And then um, tell us about the exterior mods. I see what some arches and lip on. Um, in terms of exterior, uh, the exterior of the back is the body itself is a standard body. Uh -huh. um, I have a set of, I'm not sure what the name of these wheels actually are. Um, they don't have a name on it, but um, I hunted for quite a while for these wheels. Uh -huh. Um, do you know the offset size of the wheel? It's basically a 13-inch wheel, I'm not sure of the offset. Um, the, I know it's quite aggressive. Um, I've got 20 more spaces on the back as well. So it's obviously to, to set the back out in a square, with a square set up. Okay, um, uh, the cam is quite aggressive in the, the front as well. The cam is quite aggressive in the front. Yeah, camber, uh, camber plates in front. Okay. So the reason why the... the, the, the can be so negative is for the wheels to fit properly also. Oh, I see. And Otherwise, the rubbing and the clearing issues. Then. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. And then that uh, lip here on the front is that just uh, is that a custom lip or that's a universal Golf Mark One lip. I see. As well as universal arches. Um, arches. Both on arches. Yeah. Okay. All right. Wish you never came to me and claimed that you're so clever. Wish you never.